Hi, my name is Aaron Garrett, and I teach the philosophy of film at Boston University. And I thought I'd illustrate um, how we think philosophically about film by thinking about one of my favorite kinds of films, horror films, or broader the broader genre of scary films, films like Godzilla and Lady Vengeance from the director of Old Boy. I love movies like this. I love Asian horror. I love silent horror films. I like the vast um, bunch of horror films. But there's a problem associated with horror films, and it can be sort of, philosophers like to think of things in terms of paradoxes, so it can be stated as a little bit of a paradox. If you look at Lady Vengeance, you probably feel fear. One of the central emotions we associate with horror as a genre is fear. But fear is not an emotion we generally like to feel. <laughs> so we're motivated to pay money to go see horror films, and yet we always, or almost always, try to avoid fear in our ordinary lives. Similarly, horror films represent horrific scenes. They represent things like monsters stalking Tokyo or people um, seeking horrific vengeance. But if we were asked, do you want to go to Tokyo because there happens to be a monster there? We would probably avoid that situation strenuously. Or do you want to meet my friend? She'd like to cut off your pinky with a knife. We'd avoid that situation strenuously as well. So we avoid the emotions in ordinary life we associate with horror films, and we also avoid the situations. And yet we like to go see horror films. So there's a little bit of a puzzle or a paradox. When philosophers try to solve paradoxes or puzzles, they often try to think about what the thing that the paradox is about has in common with other sorts of things. So in this case, we might think about what do horror films have in common with other things we enjoy. So one thing that horror films have a lot in common with, although you might not think of it at first, is melodramas. Melodramas are the films where we go to cry over the sufferings of honorable and impressive people. And you might think the genre is very different from horror, and it is. But the similarity is we don't ordinarily like to feel suffering, and yet we go to movies to suffer. We don't ordinarily like situations where we suffer, and yet we watch films about situations where we suffer. So there's a really interesting parallel there. There are also parallels outside of film. So we like roller coasters. Roller coasters induce fear. Yet that's a fear we seem to find pleasurable. So maybe that's a key into how to get out of the paradox. So in the first place, about fear being an unpleasant emotion. Well, if we think of roller coasters, maybe under certain kinds of constrained situations, fear isn't unpleasant. Maybe the context is what makes the difference about whether an emotion is unpleasant or not. And maybe Fear under a constrained situation is pleasurable, whereas and, and in a particular kind of framework, whereas fear outside of a constrained situation is not. So that might be one way out. Similarly, when we go see a film, there's an important element that's not like what is represented in the film. It's more like make-believe. So when we watch people suffer in a melodrama, it's like we're with our friends in a movie theater making believe that someone is suffering, but we all know to some extent no one is really suffering. So what we're doing in a way is taking part in a kind of group activity that gives us pleasure. Similarly with horror films, we're taking part with our friends in an activity that's like real fear, but it's not. It's a group pleasurable activity. So those are two ways we might get out of the paradox. So this is an example of how philosophy of film gives us a puzzle and how we can dissolve the puzzle by thinking through the premises of the puzzle. Or maybe we don't dissolve it, but that's philosophy as well. We never come to any final answer. We just move on to another problem. Mm -hmm.